Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So last two videos I have completed the theory of simulation and one problems, one video on problems. Two problems I have completed on simulation. Now in this video, three more problems I am going to explain. That is problem number three, four and five. The problems are very simple. Monte Carlo simulation. According to this technique, we use the random numbers to simulate the different variables. So before starting the third problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of these three problems, then I'll explain. Now, see the problem number three. <clears throat> a production line turns out about 50 trucks per day. So, fluctuations occur for many reasons. The production can be described by a probability distribution. The production per day, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, like that up to 55. The production will range from 45 per day to 55 per day. And for every production, probability is given like 45 production the probability is 0.03 46 production 0 0.05 like the probabilities are given always the total of pro probability will be 1 finished trucks are transported by train at the end of the day if the train capacity is only 51 what will be the average number of trucks waiting to be shipped and what will be the average number of empty spaces on the train device a simulation model to solve this problem use the following random numbers the so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 random numbers are given so for 8 days simulated production we have to find out right and then what is the average number of trucks the capacity of the train is 51 trucks so if the production is more than 51 trucks then the trains have to wait to get oh sorry trucks have to be have to wait for shipping because there is no space if the space in the train is only 51 trucks if the production is more than 51 the trucks have to wait similarly if the production is below 51 then there will be empty spaces in the train so we have to find out what is the empty spaces average empty spaces in the train during eight days period and what is the average number of trucks waiting to get shipped in that eight days that is the problem so first of all in simulation problem first we have to find out the random number interval by using the probability distribution see random number interval production per day is given in the problem 45 to 55 and probabilities are also given in the problem 0 0.03 0 0.05 like that now we find out cumulative probability so already we know how to find out the cumulative probability first probability 0 0.03 same now 0 0.03 plus 0 0.05 you'll get 0 0.08 0 0.08 plus 0 0.07 you'll get 0 0.15 0 0.15 plus 0 0.10 0 0.25 like this cumulative probabilities you'll find out now random number interval the first cumulative probability is 0 0.03 our random number range will be from 00 to 99 because two digits random numbers are given in the problem. In the problem, two digits 37, 35, 63. So two digit random number will range from 00 to 99. Right? So here three random numbers we need. Three random numbers means 00, 01, 0, 02. So first interval will be 00 to 0, 02. How many numbers will come here? Three numbers. 0, 0 is one number. 0, 1, 0, 2. So three numbers we got. So 0, 0 to 0, 2 is the first interval. The next interval will begin from 0, 3. Because 0, 2 over. will start from 0, 3. 0, 3 to 0, 7. Because 0, 8 is the total. Cumulative total is 0, 8. The one number below. That is 0, 7. So 0, 3 to 0, 7. Next number will start from 08. So 08 to 14. 
15 one number below 15 is 14 so 15 to 24 25 to 39 60 to 40 to 59 60 to 74 like that coding interval random number interval we have given now we have to find out the simulated production for eight days so simulation of eight days production day one two three four eight up to eight then random numbers are given in the problem so eight random numbers are copied now you find out in which range this random number will fall so random number 37 see the interval here 37 will fall between 29 to 39 so 37 is the random number it falls between 25 to 39 so what is the production for this range 49 so i have taken here 49 next random number is 35 locate 35 will fall in which range 35 will fall again between 25 to 39 so 49 again 49 63 is the random number locate 63 will fall in which range 60 to 74 in between this 63 will fall so what is the production here 51 25 25 will fall between 25 to 39 49 50 50 will fall between 40 to 59 like that we have taken the simulated production for eight days now we'll find out trucks waiting and empty spaces <coughs> already condition is given capacity of the train is 51 trucks if production is more than 51 waiting if production is less than 51 empty spaces if production is exactly 51 no waiting no empty spaces that's it the so first 49 if production is 49 one empty space in the train second again 49 one empty space 51 51 means uh, 51 means there is uh, no waiting no empty trucks here there is a mistake because the capacity is 51 trucks the capacity of the train is 51 trucks so when 51 is the production 63 will fall under 51 no waiting and no empty space 49 is the production the so one empty space 50 is the production so he will you will get one empty space because 51 is the capacity so if production is 50 one empty space 51 again no no empty space no waiting 54 production is more so three will be waiting so here three trucks will be waiting here 48 so two empty spaces will be there in the trucks not two 48 means 49 50 51 three three empty spaces because the capacity of the train is 51 trucks 48 production so 49 50 51 three will be waiting three will be empty spaces sorry now take the total here three is the total here total is three four five six seven seven so out of eight days three is the waiting trucks so three trucks waiting is three by eight three by eight here it is seven by eight so here there is a slight calculating mistake there so now i will calculate three divided by eight it comes to 0 0.375 this is the average waiting similarly 7 divided by 8 7 divided by 8 0.875 this is the average empty spaces that's all this is the end of problem number 3 now I am coming to problem number 4 a person sells confectionery items Past data of demand per week in 100 kilograms with frequency is, kilo, is given below. Demand per week 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. These are all demand in kilograms, 100 kilograms. And frequency is given. Actually, we need the probability. But first time in this problem, it is not given probability. It has given the frequency. So we have to convert the frequency into probability. Then we can find out cumulative probability and random number interval. 
So that is the new point here. Frequency is given 11, 8, 21, 6, 4. Using the following random numbers, generate the demand for the next 10 weeks. Also find the average demand per week. The random numbers are. So random numbers, two digit random number are given 35, 90, 13, 52 like that. So first of all, we need random number interval. See here. Uh, see here. Calculation random number interval. Demand per week is given 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is the demand given in the problem. Now, secondly, we are given the frequency. So I have written down frequency 11, 8, 21, 6, 4. The total comes to 50. The total of the frequency is 50. Now we need probability. So the individual frequency divided by total frequency, we will get the probability. What is the individual frequency here? 11. What is the total frequency? 50. So 11 divided by 50, you will get 0 0.22. Similarly, 8 divided by 50, 0.16. 21 divided by 50, 0 0.42. 6 divided by 50, 0 0.12. 4 divided by 50, 0 0.08. Always the probability total should be 1. Now confirm yourself. If you take the total of probability, you will get 1. That means our calculations are correct. This is the new point in this problem. Directly probability not given, frequency given. So we have converted frequency into probability. Now cumulative probability as usual, every problem we are finding out cumulative. 0 0.22, same. 0 0.22 plus 0 0.16, 0 0.38, 0 0.38 plus 0 0.42, 0 0.80, 0 0.80 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.92, 0 0.92 plus 0 0.08, 1. This is the cumulative Random number interval will range from 00, 0 to 99. Two digits random number. The first cumulative is 22. The below 22, 21. The 00, 0 to 21 is the first probability range interval. Next we'll start from 22. Now 22 we are beginning. 38, below 38, 37. So we'll go 22 to 37. Next we'll start from 38. 38 to what is the value here 80 below 80 79 so 38 to 79 now we begin with 80 below 92 91 so 80 to 91 92 to 99 100 is there below 100 is 99 that's it this is the random number interval now we will find out the simulated demand for the next 10 days simulated demand for the next 10 weeks so weeks 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10, random number series are given in the problem. So these are the random numbers given. Now 35. Locate 35 in which random number interval. So here random number interval is there. 35 will range between 22 to 37. So what is the demand for this one? 10. So I have taken 10. 90. 90. 90 will fall between 80 to 91. What is the demand here? 20. So I have taken 20. 13. 13 is the random number. Look at 13. 13 will come under 00 to 21. What is the demand? 5. I have taken 5. 52. Now look at 52 will fall between 38 to 79. What is the demand here? 15. Take 15. Next one 73. 73 will fall between 38 to 79. The demand is 15. Like that, we have to see the random number will fall in which interval. Corresponding to that interval, what is the demand? Take the demand here. Take the total of the simulated demand, 125. 125 is the total simulated demand for how many days? 10 weeks. For how many weeks? 10 weeks. Now it is asking you what is the average demand per week. So 125 divided by 10, 12.5. That's it. This is the end of problem number 4. Now, <clears throat> problem number 5. Gupta Bakery Amritsar keeps stock of a popular brand of cake. Daily demand based on past experience is given below. Daily demand 0, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50. For every demand probability is given 0 0.01, 0 0.15, 0 0.20. Consider the following sequence of random numbers. So we are given 10 days random numbers. 
using the sequence simulate the demand for next 10 days exactly similar to the previous problem find out the stock situation if the owner of the bakery decides to make 35 cakes per day also estimate the daily average demand of the cakes on the basis of simulated data so one new point is there the bakery wants to keep wants to make a production of 35 cakes per day every day the bakery wants to make 35 cakes so what is the stock position that means if the demand is more than 35 cakes there will be no stock if the production if the demand is less than 35 cakes there will be some stock because every day 35 cakes are produced if on a particular day the demand is only 30 that means 5 cakes are remaining in stock suppose on a particular day 35 cakes are produced but the demand in the market is only 32 so 3 cakes will be in the stock so if the demand is more than 35 there will not be any stock 35 or more if the demand in the market is 35 or more there will be no stock if the demand is less than 35 there will be stock in the bakery that is the question now first of all random number interval as usual so daily demand their daily demand are 0 15 25 35 45 50 the demand is not more than 50 and the demand is not less than 0 less than 0 demand will never exist and the probabilities are given 0 0.01 0 0.15 0 0.20 now we need the cumulative probability make 0 0.01 next 0 0.01 plus 0 0.15 1 6, 1 6 plus 20, 36, 36 plus 50, 86, 86 plus 12, 98, 98 plus 2 is 100. That is a cumulative. Now, first number is 0 0.01. So, only 1% is there. So, one random number will take 0, 0. The next random number will start from 0, 1. 0, 1 to 15, because here it is 16. So, I am taking up to 15. Then 16 to 35, 36 to 85, 86 to 97, 98 to 99. This is the random number interval. Now simulated demand for the next 10 days. So days 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10. Now random numbers given in the problem. I have copied down the random numbers given. Now locate each random number will fall in which range. The first 48. Locate 48 will fall between 36 to 85. What is the demand here? 35. So I have taken 35 production. Right? Second, 78. 35 is the production. Simulated demand. Then 78 is the random number. 78 is the random number. 78 will fall between 36 to 85. Again 35. So simulated demand 35. 09. 09 will fall between 01 to 15. So production demand is 15. 51. 51 will look fall between 36 to 85, 35. Like this, I have calculated the simulated demand. The production of the cakes are 35 cakes per day. The bakery wants to make 35 cakes every day. So production is 35 every day. Now we will find out what is the stock. First day, 35 demand, 35 production. No stock at all. Whatever produced, the completely demanded no stock then 35 35 no stock 35 is the production 15 is the demand only 15 cakes were demanded so 20 will be the stock similar 35 35 nil 35 35 nil 35 35 nil 15 35 35 is the production 15 is the demand 20 cakes will be in stock then again 15 35 20 cakes 35 35 nil 15 35 20 is the stock that's it now it is asking you what is the average simulated demand what is the total simulated demand here 270 in how many days 10 days so 270 total demand in 10 days so what is the average per day 270 divided by 10 27 27 cakes is the average demand per day that's it so in this video i have explained you three problems third fourth and fifth Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video. If you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. 
and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video